Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Carrick. So we are taking a look at Rise of Industry. Um, and we have a profiting company, right? So the first two episodes, we basically demonstrated how to look for economic opportunities, how to set up some basic chains of production, and how to turn your company into a profit. We are now running at a profit. That's while researching and other yada yada. We're basically providing like most of the things that we actually could. I mean, we could work towards bottles, but it's going to be a while before we can research that. We could... Um, Cardboard uh, is also an interesting one, but cardboard is a very high level um, thing within the paper section. So to get up here, oh, actually, this is regular cardboard, this thin cardboard. But we need to make pulp first and then this. This is, this is a $2 million um, dollar research, right? So so it's a little, it's a bit of a process to come down here. Even at 100000 per, it would take us, nine, it'd take us 18 months to get there, right? 18 months to get there. A permit to build an Inwood. So they keep selling this, but no one's willing to bid on this because no one has the cash. We have a net worth of 20 million, so we're actually doing better than the AI right now, which is exciting. But the fact that they're going orange juice is kind of, kind of cool. Although I'm kind of curious, are you actually like making orange juice? Does someone actually buy orange? Who actually buys orange juice? I don't know if there's anyone. Um, yeah, there's there's no town. I'm pretty sure that that buys orange juice because orange juice would be like a higher level, like the farmers markets. Farmers markets just sell like raw goods. Uh, you need like a grocery store type thing. You need to upgrade a town and, and have a grocery store to actually do orange juice. So it's weird that they're going for juices right now, because we don't know what's uh, what's coming down the down the pipe there. So I think they're going to actually they're having a decent uh, start, but they might kind of stall out a bit. We can take loans in order to sort of go go go. I wouldn't mind at least getting like this research upgraded so that we could research faster. But we couldn't afford to actually research it at a faster rate anyways. We're starting to pay a monthly, we're starting to, the, the loan uh, fines have kicked in. So the initial 10 million loan that we had, now we don't pay an interest on that, but it does pay back slowly. It does pay back slowly. So we're not making that much per actual cycle. I'm trying to think, what can, oh, wait, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Holy cow, we need to get some anti-pollution up in here. Because I'm pretty sure these are going to shut down if this gets polluted I think it shuts down so we'll be able to get the the, the air purifier very quickly luckily air purifiers use sand and then you know we have tons of sand right now so should be fine after that do the uh, do the uh, the thing there Although the, the cattle is something that actually we probably want to rush, not rush, but, you know, get the cattle done soon. Since that's going to be something that actually, that's actually a contract to sell leather, but we don't have that going right now. I don't think anyone's doing livestock yet. We need these air purifiers. Yeah, we kind of actually uh, sort of, we kind of built more spread out than I think you'd usually want to at the start. And we're paying a little bit of a transportation cost because of that. We're making a little bit less income off of our actual various different um, industries. This, though, needs to be counterclockwise. Although I'm kind of realizing how... We'll do one of these so they don't have to go all the way around there. Beef as well. Okay, so there's some contracts. These contracts are basically opportunities to sell goods at like an extremely high um, ratio, like 150%, right? So, or sorry, 150% more than 100%. So 250 total percent. So you could sell a lump sum of beef for 250% of its typical like farmer's market value. Um but you have to do it within like I think you have a year to finish it or something like that. You have like a year or two to in order to uh, satisfy it, or else you just paid for it for nothing. You have to actually I don't know what the penalty is for failing those to be honest. 
but when you bid for those contracts, if the AI bids with them too, then sort of you lose, like like it brings down the cost of the contract if, if more people bid on it. There's got to be a penalty for um, for not satisfying it, but. Okay, well, did we get what we needed done? Yeah, we got the air purifier thing done. I'm going to do this quickly before we like pollute that water forever. This is going to cost a little bit to get this thing running. Pollution, yeah. Get pollution. Um, do, do, do. And this is going to also deliver to here. Wait, oh wait. Did I read this wrong? Oh, uses water. Okay, uses water. That's fine too. I guess the other ones use sand then, huh? So that should be like getting rid of a lot of it. In fact, it's getting rid of it very quickly. That should protect the water. Oof. That water looks like it's already polluted, but I mean, I guess we're still, we're still gathering water. It's not complaining. I think if this was to get more polluted, it would be a problem. Or if this water was being used for like farming, I actually, I don't think that would matter. I don't know. Either way, this air pollution thing is going to take care of that there. Uh, we're polluting out here, but we, you know, it's just not in an area that we care too much. I guess presumably it could affect the, the lumber yards. Are these producing different amounts per month? We were talking about how the different set up there. No, see nine per month, nine per month. They produce the exact same amount. It's, it's, it's irrelevant to how you place them down in, in the default settings at least there might be some settings for advanced something or others there but but yeah we're working on the technology for livestock that's going to take about four months we're making a small profit we are paying back that loan though as well interest of new loans is reduced that's kind of interesting to be able to take out some loans and stuff have reduced interest rates. I mean, we kind of need a loan almost. We're going to need a loan once this livestock thing comes in. Okay, it's good. So the livestock are going to require additional water. Additional water. And then it's going to require, because the cows are going to need water and they're going to require some of this wheat. And once that livestock is, is in, we'll be able to sell the leather locally also the milk locally and then also we could we could try to move it down uh, the beef down to inwood but it's a little bit of a trek it's i don't know if it's going to be cost effective not quite ready for that if if, if inwood keeps asking for beef though that could be really good because at 200 percent we'll definitely be able to do well there Why did vehicle upkeep seem to go up that month? It's just kind of a bummer that this this town has a level two, a, a sort of a tier one or a tier two um, building. Like these, these, you can see that the goods here are. I mean, the capacitors here are one hundred thousand a piece, right? Seventy thousand a piece for the adhesive. So what, what do you, how do you make chemicals? Gas? Okay, we don't have gas. Plastics? Oil? Yeah, oil and gas. Yeah, so that, that's actually really kind of cool. So there's some very advanced stuff here that we could sell, but it just doesn't really fit in with um, what we're doing. We did think about going for the bottles, though. Yeah, we need, we need to make these glass bottles. So the glass bottles are going to require... Um, a pretty advanced tech, I think. We're working on the glass. You know, what the heck? Let's go right into the bottles. I think there's a different uh, anti-pollution thing for wa water treatment plant down here to clean the water. So unfortunately, it's gonna it's not gonna spread anymore, I don't think. I don't think it should spread anymore. We're able to contain it in time. But 
to clean up the water, we would have to build one of these. Doesn't seem to be affecting the production of the uh, of the water. I thought it did, but maybe it just isn't affecting it. Enough. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. I was going to say, maybe it's affecting some of them, but not all of them. Either way, there's still tons of water in this. So it's it's still accumulating. Yeah, these little these little contracts that pop up, right? They can be kind of annoying when they're not they're just not relevant and you just don't care. Those are the some of those are the events. There's there's other actual events that will pop up, but those little contracts I think are also part of the part of the kind of like just random events that can happen. Some of the random events are more like, hey, there's a worker shortage and this, you know, upkeep costs are gonna be higher because you have to pay your workers, you know, you have to pay people more to to work or whatever, right? Or there's gonna be like a, a transportation event or something that makes it more expensive to transport stuff or maybe makes it cheaper to transport stuff regional oil surplus or something brings down the price of transportation costs or something you know whatever um stuff like that we're on speed four like the fastest speed here but it doesn't seem to be going too fast i'm just thinking ooh. This person has eight million in the bank and they're going for they're going for Inwood. What we could do is we could take a loan out in order to bid on this. How are they able to afford this? How do we take out loans? Loans. Take out a loan. We've already lost that auction. It's fine. I just let the time go, but so we could take out like a 10 mil loan at a 10% interest. So it cost us 11 million to pay it back. It expect it, it would expect us to pay this back. We could adjust it a little bit. Like we could reduce the loan amount or we can shorten it or increase the length of it, but that increases the percentage. The longer we have to pay it off, the higher the interest rate. It's still a hundred thousand per month. If we were to actually do it as it stands, it'd be three hundred thousand per month while we're paying back the loan. Yeah. Nope. I don't think we need another loan. Ideally, if we weren't actually paying off the loan that we had, we'd be making good money right now. Dang, these guys are each gonna both of the AI are gonna have two regions. How do they have that much capital? I'm actually a little confused how they're making so much money because we're actually selling tier two goods. They can't be selling more than just like carrots and stuff, you know? The heck? So they each have their own region. So they've spread to more regions and uh, that means that, dang, I mean, what, what's left? <laughs> uh, I think this is open. Can't build there. Oh, well, we can't build neither of these. Which ones do they own? Doesn't say. So I don't know where to look for it. Livestock still try to finish up. Hmm. Not a little, not very eventful here. But I mean, we're we're making money, but we're not making enough money. Clearly. Clearly. What's going on with the actual goods here? Are they actually willing to buy even more concrete? Do we have concrete that's accumulating? No. How do we up our concrete production? Well, you know, the easiest thing we could do is just boom, boom, drop two more of these things. Because we're only making... We're only making um, three plus three plus three plus three. We're only making 12 per month. When they want to buy, it's the most valuable good, and they want to buy uh, 16 per month. Oop, auto save in progress. This, so 50% so more factories means 50% more product, which means...
So they just did a big unload of, uh, of sand there. So there's going to be a little bit of a traffic while this gets uh, sorted. They're just trying to like really fill up those first two. But there we go. We'll limit them. That should be good. That's going to have to work its way out, but this should get worked out. Oh, you know what I'm actually kind of realizing here? Here, let's make this a one way through here. Not very pretty. Not very pretty. That should sort of have this flowing better. Although if this was counterclockwise, it'd be working even, even smoother. There we go. Those are all working. That's two extra. That's going to be like uh, six more. Um, that's going to be, wait a second. That's going to be six more concrete per month. Six more concrete per month is 150,000 additional income per month. That's going to be huge. Of course, it costs us a certain amount of money to get those factories planted in the first place. We now just got done with the um, with the livestock. So the livestock is going to cost a certain amount of money to get this operational as well. Only 200 something thousand there. The negatives. Can we build while we're in the negative? I, I'd rather kind of like stay above because I don't want to like get like a bankruptcy thing or I don't want to like have it take a forced loan. So let's wait till this, this income, there we go. And so let's buy this. I'm going to keep this off because I just want to kind of like look at this for a little bit. Well, we let the game uh, run a little bit here. These guys are too far away. We're, we're not going to be able to deliver. Well, actually, we could make a path. We could make a path up to there. I don't think we could do enough beef in time. So every 35 days, every month, it needs one water, just one water and one wheat to make one beef. And one, So one water and one wheat. Dang, that means each of these, wait a second, that means each of these is producing six per month. So each of these fields can literally produce for six, oh, sorry, six pastures. Each, each of these has, each of these has obviously multiple pastures. Wait, how are we in the negatives? The heck? Should be making more than normal. 100,000 building upkeep cost. This looks like a profit to me. How much until that loan's paid off completely? Well, we've paid off two and a half million of it so far. So, I mean, that's something. If we're paying off about, uh, um, or doing a million per year. So presumably in about seven years, that'll be gone. That'll be an expense that'll be taken out. Hey, this is intense. How could we possibly add those extra factories and not be making like a, a much larger profit here? Oh did, I, oh, did I forget to... Oh no, I forgot to adjust this up to nine. We haven't been selling nine concrete. We haven't been selling any additional concrete. Now we're going to be doing nine per. There we go. So that should be a bigger, a bigger amount of cash there. Once those get sold on January 15th, they'll be able to dispatch nine more. Okay, now here we go. This should be a big month. This should be a big month here. So, so basically, the way you read this down here, guys, I know maybe I shouldn't do this at the end of an episode, but the uh, last month's balance is here. Just to let you know, are you like month to month? Are you making money or losing money? This is how much money we have currently. So we're in the negatives right now. But that's because our upkeep hits us at the beginning of the month. This here, this zero here, is the estimated sales. This is like how much money we're going to make when, this, when the sale state buy-in. What is this? Oh, it's an event happened. 
Uh, state exports uh, 50%. Uh, okay, so we could just ex uh, State is desperate in need of raw resource. So we could export to the state for extra money. It's not worth it for us to do that. We get, it's still selling outside, uh, selling to the these outer edges of the map. It's a high transportation cost and it's it's relatively low profit. But it, here it's saying you get 50% more. So I guess maybe at that point, with this event, you actually probably do make more. Can we sell? It's only raw resources though. Cannot sell um, the planks or the concrete. And if there wasn't a, if, the, if a contract came up for like 50 concrete, we could make bank off that. We could make bank off that. So basically over here, like green last month, good. Month to month, we're making money. This here is, means that when the 15 comes up, April 15th, boom, there's going to be a big amount of income. All of this is going to shift over to the total balance. So you can see it's going down, total balance is going down because we're paying for, for, uh, oh, this is going to be a big month. This is going to be a huge month. Wait, what? 850,000. How do we only make 100,000 that month? Tra vehicle costs, I guess. I guess we're just getting killed on the vehicle costs or something. We do have a lot of vehicles zooming around. We got the concrete going, guys. We are basically maxing out the planks, I think, and we're maxing out the concrete. There we go. Yeah, we're maxing out uh, planks and concrete, which is really, really good. So that should be uh, that should be something that we should be able to uh, to to grow off of there, going forward. And then we're going to be working up to glass bottles next episode. Hopefully, we get the glass bottles going. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we continue to do this sort of like uh, introduction to the game and explain some of the systems and how to get a profitable company going because we are profiting. I, right now, we are. This is a this is a working company. Um, it's just that we've spent a lot of money to uh, to lay down this infrastructure, and and it's it's coming back. Um, but thanks everybody for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're here in some fireworks, so there's a town that is upgraded somewhere on the map. We'll have to see what that's all about in the next episode, guys. 